This series begins by showing a school called Senyon High School, which is really good. It's split into two parts. The south side is for athletes, and the north side is for the brainy students. The kids from the north and south sides don't always get along because they see school differently. One day, this girl named Yuan Che, she, who's in the second grade on the north side, got told by her teacher to go over to the south side. She wasn't scared, but her friends were worried she might run into this guy named Li He. He's like the boss of the south side, kind of naughty, and tough to handle in class, but he's also an awesome runner and wins lots of races. When Chai she went to the athlete class to get everyone's report cards, she found out that some students hadn't turned theirs in, and one of them was Li He. Meanwhile, Li He and his pals went to the broadcast room, thinking Chai she had left without realizing they hadn't handed in their reports. While they were in there, one of Li He's friends started talking about Chai Shi. She was like a star in the northern school, and lots of guys like her. But she turned down all the love letters she got, and people thought she was kind of cold and unfeeling. While Li He and his friends were chatting, Chai Shi suddenly walked in to find those missing reports. But one of Li He's friends, who was mad, tripped her, and she almost fell. She accidentally hit the loudspeaker button. Luckily, Li He caught her, and they hugged for a moment. Then Chai Shi pulled away, and they started teasing each other. But the loudspeaker was on so all the students in the school heard their conversation. Chai Shi got really upset when Li He called her the eternal second-place winner, because she could never beat Ning Ziyu, her super-smart classmate who always ranked first in the northern school. After Chai Shi left, Li He tried to tell his friend that they shouldn't treat women badly because they're guys. But then, when students from the northern school heard about the conversation in the broadcast room, they got all emotional and started making fun of Li He and his friends on the school forum. This really made Li He mad, and he decided he was going to respond to all those mean comments during the end of semester physical exam that was happening that day. A few hours later, the physical exam started, and Li He and his friends made things harder for the academic class students during the warm up session. Che Shi couldn't stand her classmates being seen as weak, so she challenged the athlete class to a ball throwing competition. The athlete class did way better. And things got even crazier when one of Che Shi's classmates cheated by spilling water on the field. That made one of Li He's friends slip, and then a big fight broke out between the two classes. Because of all that, Li He, Che Shi, and Ziyu, who were class reps, got called to see Mr. Ma, the school principal. He gave them a warning. Sometime later, the school decided to mix things up. They wanted to bring the athlete students from the south and the smart students from the north together. Athletes would get some new school subjects, and the brainy students would have to take some extra gym classes. The school thought this would make things better for everyone and improve education. But the brainy students didn't like the idea. They didn't want to be in the same class as the athletes. Cheshi, who was the class leader, didn't like it either at first. But her teacher, Lu Xiyan, told her it was a way to help students accept differences. At the start of the third semester of high school, Li He and his friends came up with a plan to show Che Shi's class that they shouldn't mess with them as the minority group. But things went wrong. Their clothes got stolen while they were working out, and they had to go shirtless, which got them in trouble with Mr. Ma. They found out Ziyu was behind it, so they wanted to get back at him. But they ended up ruining Che Shi's chair, thinking Ziyu would sit there. Che Shi had to cut her skirt, but luckily, Ziyu gave her some pants. Li He then said sorry to Che Shi, and she told him to be more mature. Meanwhile, Li He and Ziyu just ignored each other, even though they lived next door to each other. When the classes got mixed up, Li He was surprised by how they arranged the seats based on grades. The athletes with lower grades had to sit in the front rows. He felt like this was unfair to the athletes, so he talked to Che Shi, who was their class leader, to find out why. The commotion caught the attention of their PE teacher Bai Fei, who asked the brainy students to join the discussion. Meanwhile, the athletes talked to Shi Yen, who explained why they needed this mixed-up class to broaden their horizons. Bai Fei also talked about how being physically fit could help academic students get into university. When they went back to class, Che Shi couldn't do much about it when Li He sat behind her as Shi Yen told him to, with the athletes in the middle. Shi Yen also asked Che Shi to pay more attention to the athletes. After hearing their teacher's words, Li He and his friends decided not to cause trouble anymore. And he asked Che Shi to make peace but she just said she wouldn't bother him as long as he didn't bother her. Once, there was a big mess in the classroom. The brainy students thought the athlete's shoes were making the place dirty, so they threw them in the trash. Li He saw what happened and wasn't happy. 
He asked the person who did it to get the shoes back. But the person said that they should throw the old, worn-out athlete shoes away, which made Lee hate even angrier. He almost got into a fight with that person. Finally, the person agreed to say sorry, and Chasey said she'd keep the athlete's shoes safe. But not long after, someone named Punhao took the shoes and threw them in the part of the school that was going to be torn down soon. Lee got really mad and thought Chasey was behind it. She felt guilty and looked for the shoes with Ziyu. Luckily, they found them. Lee Hye then explained that those shoes had lots of memories, especially Yoon Shiyoung's old beaten-up shoes, which his grandma gave him when he won his first race. Lee Hye thanked Che Xin and said sorry for misunderstanding her. And Pun Hao, he made up for it by cleaning the athlete's shoes. After school, Lee Hye and his friends ate at a restaurant. They talked about Che Xin, saying she was really kind and responsible. Then, by accident, Lee Hye saw Che Xin with a guy who wore glasses, and that made him feel a bit uneasy. The next day at school, Lee got even more restless when he found out that lots of girls liked the guy with glasses. He didn't want to believe that Che Xi was getting played, so he kind of hinted to her that she shouldn't give her heart away so easily. She got all confused when she heard what Lee said. Then, something weird happened another time, and during PE class, Che Xi got really mad. She was going to scold Lee but suddenly, she passed out. Lee got worried and decided to stay with her in the treatment room. He gave her a warm drink and helped her with her bandage. He said sorry for making her faint and talked about the guy with glasses who was close to her. And the guy with glasses turned out to be Che Shi's little brother, Yuen Hao Shi. Li He felt relieved and happy when he found out. Later on, it seemed like Li He was getting interested in Che Shi. He kept asking her to make peace, but she didn't say much until one day, in front of the whole class, he asked her her phone number, and she blushed. So, Li He was talking to his friend, Lin Chuan and he mentioned that he just wanted to become better friends with Chai Shi. But Lin Chuan realized that his friend was starting to like Chai Shi. So he said he'd try to find out more about her through Chai Shi's close friend, Han Ya Yi. Unfortunately, Lin Chuan didn't get much info from Ya Yi. Then, in a chemistry class, their teacher, Shi Yen, made Li He and Chai Shi be in the same group for a project. Chai Shi didn't want to say no to the teacher, but she tried to figure out a way to get Li He to change his mind. When she couldn't, she finally admitted that she was worried her grades would drop if they were in the same group. Lee Hayden didn't back down. He was determined to study harder. Eventually, Chasey saw how dedicated he was and gave him her phone number. A little later, Lee Hay got a text from Chasey while having dinner. He was really happy about it and got even more into studying. Meanwhile, Chasey was in her room, looking at a photo of herself and her childhood friend. She was remembering the time when they were trapped in a house fire which left her with some bad memories. A few days later, some people from the education department came to Senyong High School to check how things were going with the mixed-up class program. Meanwhile, Chaishi's class was doing a chemistry experiment in the lab. Unfortunately, Li He made a mistake, and it nearly caused a fire. Everyone in the lab got scared and rushed out, except for Chaishi. She remembered a bad experience from her past and couldn't move, especially because she hurt her ankle and fell. But Lee quickly came to help her, and the teachers and the people from the education department arrived to see what was going on. Not long after in the treatment room, Che Shi helped Lee He with his injuries and thanked him for saving her. She told him about how, when she was a kid, she was stuck in a fire too, and what Lee He did reminded her of her childhood friend. She said sorry for always being negative towards him and asked if they could start fresh as real friends. After the lab fire, the folks from the education department felt sorry about what happened but they could see that the two groups of students who used to fight were now looking out for each other. They thought the mixed-up class plan would go well because of this. Later on, Mr. Ma came into Che Shi's class and said he was disappointed about the fire, but he was proud of how the students cared for each other. He told them to be careful and stick together. Then, one day, Li Ye noticed that Che Shi's bruises were getting worse. He started taking care of her, giving her medicine, and even a discount card for her favorite bookstore. She felt happy because of this, and her friend Ya Yi noticed that she was smiling more often for no clear reason. Meanwhile, Ziyu saw that Li He and Che Shi were getting closer, and it made him jealous because he'd liked her for a long time. Every day, Ziyu got up early and took a longer way to school just to meet Che Shi and walk with her. But when Li He came to the picture, Ziyu started keeping his distance from her. He didn't have the guts to tell her how he felt, because he thought she saw him as just a friend and someone she competed with in school. At the same time, Leah found it hard to focus on studying 
when he was with Cheshi because he thought she was so beautiful. Cheshi felt the same way, but she always tried to concentrate on her studies, no matter what. One day, Wan Yuan accidentally threw away the discount card that Li He had lent to Cheshi. She had to dig through the trash to find it, and Ziyu saw her doing it. He decided to help her out because he knew she didn't want to lose the card that Leah gave her, even though she could easily get another one. A few days later, Ziyu found the card, and Cheshi was really happy in class. Then, Senyong High School had a relay race between classes. Another student, Zhang Yi, challenged Li He to a race, and they made a bet that the loser would wear a turtle costume and buy food for the winners. Leah was up for the challenge. After some practice, Bai Fei picked a few students for the relay race. Lin Chuan and Li He were part of the team. Right before the race started, one of the girls who was supposed to run for their class couldn't make it, so Che she had to step in. Even though she had hurt her leg recently, she stumbled while passing the baton to Li He. He helped her, but she told him to keep going. In the end, Li He lost to Zhang Ye. But surprisingly, Li He was happy because there was a photo of him and Che Shi during the race that went around in the class group. And people were saying they made a great couple. The next day, Li Ye kept his promise to Zhang Yi by wearing a turtle costume, but what surprised him was that his friends also wore the same costume, so he didn't feel embarrassed about losing the race. During the break, Che Shi and her classmates helped Li He by buying food for Zhang Yi, just as he asked. Li He knew it was Che Shi's idea, so he thanked her and invited her to have a meal together at a restaurant. On another date, Li Ye was worried about his low exam scores, even though his parents never pressured him. He wanted to make them proud with his grades, so he and his friends thought about cheating on the exams. But Che Shi found out about their plan and warned Li He not to do it. Afterward, Li He explained why he was thinking of cheating, and she agreed to help him study before the exams. Zi was also willing to assist. At one point, Li He promised to meet Che Shi for a study session at school. But he had to cancel because he had plans with his friends. The next day, word got out that Li He and his buddies skipped school to watch a soccer match while Chai Shi waited for him to study together. She was really mad at him for this. Chai Shi's attitude changed, and she became distant from him, which left Li He frustrated because he didn't know what he did wrong. That night, Chai Shi was still upset with Li He, and she talked to her little brother, how she about it, how she thought maybe his big sister had feelings for Li He, and got angry, because Li He didn't take their promise seriously. When Chai Shi heard this, she kicked Hao Shi out of her room. At school, Li He tried to explain why he couldn't meet up with her. The school had arranged a special training session with national running athletes, and he didn't want to miss it. He also didn't expect to be late in meeting her. After he explained, Che Shi understood his reasons, and Li He promised not to break their promises again. In the days leading up to the exams, it seemed like Che Shi and Ziyu were helping Li He and his friends study. Finally, the day of the exams arrived. Jiang Yuan told Li He that he had the answer key to the exams from someone. Afterward, during the exams, Li He and his friends didn't have much trouble. So Li He thanked Che Shi for helping him by taking her to the playground. She was really happy to go to the playground because she hadn't wanted to visit it since her father passed away. It was her first time trying out all the rides there. Later at school, after the exam scores were announced, Mr. Mo called Li He and his friends to the office because he didn't believe they could get good grades honestly. He had screenshots that showed John Yuan had gotten the answers from someone on social media. Jan Yuan admitted it, but he said he deleted the document after Chai Shi told him not to cheat during the exam. Because of these accusations, Li He was disappointed with Mr. Ma, who looked at him suspiciously. While all this was happening, Chai Shi believed that Li He and his friends didn't cheat because she saw how seriously they had studied before the exam. She even provided screenshots as evidence to be checked. But then, Pun Hao saw it and started spreading rumors that made Li He and his friends outcasts. Li He thought Chai Shi had intentionally shared the evidence with everyone. Things got worse after Mr. Ma talked about the issue at school, which made Zheng Yi very happy as he enjoyed seeing Li He's downfall. At home, Chai Shi felt really guilty because Li He kept ignoring her messages. So the next day, she decided to meet him in person to tell him she trusted him and wanted to help him out. Li He was really happy that his crush cared so much. Meanwhile, even though Ziyu and Li He weren't on good terms, Ziyu believed that Li He and his friends were innocent. So he secretly checked the screenshots that Mr. Mud got and found some strange things. He told Cheishi about the person who sent the answers on purpose, 
and they agreed to work together to find out who was behind the whole thing. Ziu managed to trace the person who sent the fake answer key through the school computer. He recovered the deleted message and found out that it was Zhang Yi who had sent it anonymously to Zhang Yuan. Chai Shi and Ziu quietly shared all this evidence with Mr. Ma. And after discussing it with Mr. Bai Fei and Ms. Xian, Mr. Ma quickly cleared up the misunderstanding and apologized through an announcement. Zhang Yi faced consequences for his actions. He admitted to doing it because he was jealous of Li Hei, who always did better than him in many things. When Li Ye went to Mr. Ma's office to talk to Zhang Yi, he advised him to focus on himself instead of getting involved in other people's business. That evening, after hearing Che Shi's story about how Ziyu helped him, Li He met with his neighbor to thank him, and they started becoming friends. Ziyu had been willing to help because he didn't want to see Chai Shi stab because of Li He's problems. On the other hand, Che Shi started spending more time with Li He, but Ziyu could only watch their closeness from a distance. Some time later, a good-looking new student named Yi Jing Shi joined Che Shi's class, and it seemed like he had a crush on her. Jing Shi was a popular celebrity who decided to go back to school, so many students looked up to him. When he was alone with Chai Shi, he told her that he was her childhood friend and that he had saved her from a fire in the past. After the fire, Jing Shi moved abroad and changed who he was, eventually becoming a famous idol. Meanwhile, Li He and Ziyu both realized they had feelings for Chai Shi, and Jing Shi's presence at school made them uncomfortable because he might win her over. So they decided to put their differences aside for a while and find a way to keep Jing Shi away from her. When they got back to class, Li He and Ziyu warned Jing Shi not to hurt Chai Shi, which made Jing Shi think they were also interested in her. Once, Jing Shi asked Chai Shi for help with English because he wanted to audition for a movie role as a foreign swimmer. She agreed to help him and even offered to assist with his school subjects. When Chai Shi invited Ziyu and Li He to study together at school, they both agreed so they wouldn't leave her alone with Jing Shi. They started spending more time together, studying and having fun, which made them closer. Jing Shi, who used to feel lonely because of his busy schedule as an entertainer, was now happy. He even skipped some of his schedules to hang out with Li He and Ziyu. Jing Shi's manager and sister Nizi warned him to stay focused on his goals. She reminded him that becoming an idol was his choice and that he needed to be ready for the responsibilities and consequences, even if it meant missing out on some of his youth. Nizi was strict because she wanted Jing Shi to learn about responsibility. After thinking about her words, Jing Shi decided to focus more on his dream as a musician, and the agency would provide a music teacher for him. One night at Ziyu's home, he had an argument with his mother, Wen Ting. She wanted him to become a lawyer, but he secretly wanted to be a programmer. He learned programming on the side, but things got complicated when the school asked students to choose their preferred universities. Ziyu secretly picked the University of Technology, which his mother opposed. Meanwhile, Li He had big ambitions to get into Hua Qing University through good grades. His teacher, Bai Fei, told him it would be tough because his grades weren't great. So Li He was determined to study harder to achieve his dream of attending that prestigious university. On the other hand, Li He's friend, Lin Chuan, was disappointed with Li He's choice. They had promised to go to a sports university together, and Lin Chuan thought Li He would leave their friends for Chai Shi. But Li He explained that he only wanted to do his best because Chai Shi had advised him to aim for the best university. He also understood that Lin Chuan wanted a sports university because it was close to his home, and he could help his busy mother with the family store. Li He encouraged Lin Chuan to apply to Hua Qing University so that his mother would be proud of him. From that day on, Li He and his friends often studied together because they all wanted to get into great universities. When Ting walked into Ziyu's room and found her son's university preference form, which disappointed her. She got rid of all his programming books and stopped him from doing anything outside of school, including hanging out with friends. Ziyu felt really sad because his mother didn't understand his dreams, but he didn't give up. In fact, he was even more determined to participate in a programming competition. Things were going well for him until one day when Wen Ting decided to transfer him to another school. Xi Yan, Chai Shi, and others who knew about his talent tried to make Wen Ting see it by inviting her to watch a competition he was in. Even though she saw his talent, she still wanted him to focus on his studies if he didn't want to change schools. Time passed, and after the final exam scores came out, Chai Shi, who had been working hard, became the top student in the school, surpassing Ziyu. During the school break, 
Ziyu secretly attended programming classes to prepare for a competition. Meanwhile, Li He and Che Shi spent more time together. Jin Shi, who knew about this, didn't want to give up on Che Shi. He told Li He that he was determined to confess his feelings to Rasun. One day, someone circulated a fake photo of Jin Shi and Che Shi, claiming they were living together. Many reporters came to Che Shi's house, nearly revealing her identity. Thankfully, Li He took Che Shi and Hao Shi to his house to hide. They discovered that someone had been stalking Jing Shi at school. With Ziyu's help, they trapped the stalker and made them delete the photos and issue an apology, avoiding legal trouble for Jing Shi's agency. Meanwhile, Pun Hao, who had helped spread the fake photo, confessed to Jing Shi. He had done it for attention because he always felt ignored, even by his own parents. Jing Shi forgave him, and Pun Hao decided to transfer to another school after the incident. As the school holidays ended and the university entrance exams approached, Li He took Che Shi to a romantic spot and asked if she would run with him and if he would stay by her side. She blushed but didn't give an answer. Later, Jing Shi threw a party for his fans, especially Che Shi, who had always supported him. He sang a song at the party, and Che Shi realized he had feelings for her. Afterward, he told her he was leaving for a music academy abroad and asked her to go with him but she declined because she had feelings for someone else. The next day, Jingxi said goodbye to his friends and left for his music academy abroad. Meanwhile, Li He and Ziyu had become close friends, and Ziyu wished Li He a happy birthday for the first time. The next day, Li He invited Che Shi to celebrate his birthday by going for a walk and joining sports practice of school. He thanked her for being there on his special day and invited her to watch his important competition over the weekend which could earn him a certificate for Hua Qing University. Unknowingly, Ziyu saw how close they were and decided not to congratulate Li He, feeling a bit uncomfortable. A few days later, it was the anniversary of Che Shi's father's death, but they celebrated it as if it were his birthday to bring more joy. After the celebration, Hao Shi, who didn't remember much about their father, asked Che Shi about him, and she shared stories about their father and his battle with leukemia. Another time, how she was surprised to see bruises on Che Shi's body and got worried about her health, thinking it might be leukemia, which her father had. Che Shi reassured him they were just regular bruises, but she was secretly concerned as she often felt dizzy and faint. The next day, after visiting the school nurse, she was advised to get a medical checkup at the hospital. This news made her withdraw and lose her motivation to study. So you noticed her change and encouraged her to talk to her family and get tested. Che Shi wanted to keep it a secret especially from Li He, who had an important competition coming up and didn't want to distract him. Seeing Che Shi distancing herself from her friends, Li He sensed something was wrong and asked her about it. She told him she wasn't ready to share yet and asked for some time. While disappointed that she confided in Ziyu, he tried to trust her. Ziyu stayed close to Che Shi until she was ready to talk to her family. Unfortunately, this closeness made Li He misunderstand the situation even more. After thinking it over, Che Shi finally told her mother, Chi Yi, and Hao Shi about her health concerns, which made them worried. Chi Yi reached out to a doctor for an examination. The doctor found some issues with Che Shi's blood cells, but it might be just anemia. More tests were needed for a precise diagnosis. News of Che Shi's health troubles started to circulate among her friends and classmates, making them concerned. On the day of Li He's competition, Ziyu quietly continued his programming contest. Before they had left, they encouraged each other. Che Shi was unsure about attending Li He's event because she feared it might affect him since she had been distant recently. How she advised her to follow her heart. Che Shi decided to go, but ended up fainting on her way there. Meanwhile, Ziyu, who was in a programming competition, got a call from the hospital where Che Shi was being treated since he had been her recent contact. Worried, Ziyu decided to leave the competition, which resulted in him being disqualified. The organizers also informed his guardian, Wen Ting, about this. At the same time, due to not feeling well, Li He couldn't win his competition, and it left him feeling down. It was his first loss since starting high school. Ziyu, knowing that his friend was feeling low, went to talk to him. He shared stories from their elementary school days when Li He used to underestimate Ziyu because he couldn't run fast. To prove himself, Ziyu worked hard and became the class champion. He told Li He that he didn't like seeing his friend lose motivation because it would be a waste of all their efforts to be the best in class. 
When Wenting discovered that Zhu was secretly studying programming, she was disappointed because she thought it might affect his grades. While Zhu's father didn't mind, Wenting remained firm about transferring Zhu to another school. A week later, Li Hei still hadn't returned to school, which worried Chai Xi and her friends. During this time, Li Hei spent time with his father, a former athlete, who encouraged him to accept both wins and losses, crucial for success in life. Li Hei regained his motivation to become a top runner after this talk. That night, he met with Chai Xi to apologize for making her worry and promised to work harder for his dreams and university entrance exams. They discussed why she had been distant, and Che Shi eventually opened up about her health concerns and the hospital exams. Li He reassured her and promised to support her, asking her to trust and communicate openly. One day, Ziu invited Che Shi somewhere, and how she informed her that Ziu had feelings for her for a long time. She had considered it friendship and wasn't aware of his feelings. How she encouraged her to clarify her own feelings to avoid leading Ziu on and plan to talk to him about it. After spending time together, Ziyu and Che, she visited interesting places, like a robot exhibition. While she enjoyed the trip and mentioned Li He often, Ziyu realized she didn't have romantic feelings for him. Without explicitly discussing their relationship, Ziyu installed a chat app he created on Che Shi's phone. That night, Ziyu's parents discussed his school transfer, and even though he disagreed, he couldn't change his mother's decision. Later, Che Shi got her medical test results, which showed she only had anemia making her very happy. Li He also received good news, reaching the competition finals due to someone else's withdrawal. He hosted a dinner party to celebrate, but Ziyu didn't attend and ignored messages. Che Shi tried to contact him through the chat app, and he informed her about his transfer to a new school. Che Shi didn't reply, and Ziyu felt like he had been ignored by his friends. The following day, when Ziyu and his parents arrived at school, they were surprised to find a warm welcome from students who didn't want him to leave. She hadn't tried to convince Wen Ting to change her mind, and Che Shi and Li He also asked Ziyu not to transfer. Ziyu pleaded with his mother, promising to do well in the university entrance exam. His heartfelt words convinced Wen Ting to support him and asked him not to lie anymore. As the university entrance exams approached, all the students studied diligently. The day before the exams, Xi Yan expressed her pride in class Che Shi for their hard work and care for each other. She thanked her students and wished them success in achieving their dreams. The next day, Che Shi and her friends finished their university entrance exams with their families there to support them. After the exams, Che Shi came up with a plan to invite Li, He using a tricky puzzle that left him scratching his head. He had to turn to Ziyu and others for help to solve it. In the final scenes, Che Shi waited for Li He in a special broadcasting room. When he arrived, he wondered why she wanted to meet there. She explained that this room held a lot of meaning for both of them because it's where they first met. Che Shi shared her appreciation for all the experiences they had in high school with Li He and their friends. In that moment, Li He expressed his feelings for her once more, and she responded with a kiss, accepting his love. Moral lesson from the story is, don't cheat on exams or spread untrue stories, or you could get into a lot of trouble.